morning guys my name's Irene and like you I've watched a lot of Julie Cutts videos and she's awesome at this bloom stuff so I thought I'd give it a go now this is the first day I've tried it I've done a few small little tiles so now I thought I would try a big one today is the first time I've ever done any sort of pouring so this is exciting for me so let's see how this one works so this is my pillow paint it's the same as what Julie uses it's the British paints untinted oh, a bit more and I'm only guessing let's hope this works all right two days colors uh, this is uh, Payne's Grey by Jo Sonia's. So let's do some of that one. I'm getting low. Oh, it's hard to tell what to do on a big one. Let's do... This is uh, Iridescent Violet Blue by Pebio. I don't know why it's called Violet Blue. It actually looks quite pink, but I think in the light, it changes colors and you get to see the iridescence and it looks more violet and has blue through it so hopefully that will turn up uh, what have we got here we've got liquitex colbate blue now this one's a little bit thicker so i probably should have maybe thinned it out a bit but we'll see how it goes it doesn't want to come out whoop a little bit more. There we go. Um, let's try a Liquitex Copper. This is a beautiful colour. Nice and shiny. Come on. Do a bit of that. Um, then we'll do, this is Jo Sonia's uh, Thalo Green, excuse my handwriting. And my all time favourite colour is uh, Iridescent Blue Green by Pebio. This is a stunning teal blue color it's just gorgeous look at it Ugh. just want the whole thing to be in this color and I might just put a little bit of Liquitex gold on top come on <laughs> I know you're in there Oh, come on. It's cold out in my back room. I don't know if that's making it stick up the other end. Oh, and rude noises. And those other noises you can hear are the neighbours. All right. Is that enough paint? I don't know. It's all a guess. And I've got my cell activator, which is two to one, which is two parts of flow troll. Uh, one part of, uh, what is it, of course, the Amsterdam white, the Amsterdam titanium white, which I found really hard to get in Adelaide. And I had to buy it online. be too much but we'll see how we go like I said first time let's go for it right, I've got my hair dryer I've had to butcher it a bit like Julie and it's got a very smaller size nozzle on it I've got a cold um, button so let's see how we go sorry about the noise <laughs> Well, that was 
wasn't quite supposed to go like that. But look at it. Ooh, it's selling up. That's exciting. I did butcher that, but I think my hairdryer might be a bit too powerful. Or I still haven't worked out how to control it yet. Oh, it's gorgeous. So I've pushed probably too much paint off here already when I've still got all of this to go. I don't want to I don't want to tilt it because then this will all stretch. Ugh, who knows? Oh, I can see the gold through there. It's too bad it's running off. A little bit's popping up here. Oh, there's a bit of hair in there. Probably my cat hair. Shall we give it a spin and see how we go? All right, here we go. Oh, listen to that splat. <laughs> That's awesome. I've got to tell you, this is so much fun. All right. I like it. Yeah, we're getting there. It's, I'm not sure about this and... This is, I don't know if we can run this off and not lose too much of this. Let's have another spin, shall we? Okay. Oh, this... Some big cells happening in the middle. It looks like there's a lot of white, so maybe, I don't know, I've just got to learn how to control that and control how I spread it, obviously. But well, I'm pretty happy considering this is the first time I've ever done a big one and today's my first time ever pouring with paint, so I'm pretty excited about the whole thing, to tell you the truth. Let's try this way. I know Julie gets stuck when she goes with her left hand. I probably will too. Okay, we've got some of that copper coming through here and through here, which is nice. Might do one more spin. I don't know if we can get this is starting to stretch out. Uh, ah, one more. very satisfying doing that watching all the paint fall off oh all oh, the blue starting to come up through there now oh that's nice oh I'm so excited look at those cells even though I didn't blow it out right I'm just excited I've got all of those cells all right let's have a lefty seem to have gotten any of that iridescent violet blue which is oh except for in the middle I can see a little pink spot you see that little pink spot right there in the middle it's sort of you know, it's coming through out a little bit hmm well I'm pretty happy with that so I might take my gloves off and then bring you guys down See if we can see any of the shine that I can see. All right, give me a second. I'll get these gloves off. Oh, I don't have a quick release. Of course, it doesn't want to come undone now, does it? Some really nice cells, though. I 
Overall, it's my first time doing a big one and my first time pouring it all. Pretty damn proud of myself. And look, there's that little pink spot in the middle. Maybe some more will come up. You can see there's a bit of gold underneath that white. So maybe when it dries, some more might come up. Don't know if you can see any sheen. But there is a little bit of sheen. Ah, oh, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll show you what I did earlier on today. The first time pouring, I was just playing with tiles. They're down on my ground. Hang on a minute. I'm really happy with these. And that top one at the left, that was my very first ever pour. I'm so, so impressed. But some of the colours, they're just beautiful. You know what? They're not perfect, but I'm happy. Anyway, that's it for me today. So I hope you enjoyed that. can see it with that shine on it you know it oh some of it's beautiful anyway thanks for persisting with me i'll talk to you soon bye